collaborations can make a song better or sadly not work at all, while adding other artists can bring new ideas. Sometimes it takes away from the original feel of the song. In this video, we look at 8 songs ruined by features. Karma by Taylor Swift featuring Ice Spice Karma is the standout track from Taylor Swift's 2022 album Midnight, known for her strong lyrics and catchy tunes. Taylor delivered a song that many loved. The original version of the song was a hit, quickly becoming a fan favorite when the album came out. The song's catchy beat, along with Taylor's clever lyrics, makes for a fun listening experience that fits perfectly with the Midnight's album. However, when the song was released as a single, it featured a remix with Ice Spice. Ice Spice was chosen because Taylor's then-boyfriend Maddie Healy made disparaging remarks about her. Her addition received mixed reviews. Her verse feels out of place and disrupts the song's flow. While she has that one flow that works on a New York drill beat, it does not fit well with Taylor's sound. The original version is way better and is the only one I listen to. Bad Guy Remix by Billie Eilish featuring Justin Bieber Billie's 2019 smash hit Bad Guy grabbed everyone's attention with its great sound, catchy bass line and Billie's unique voice. It quickly became a key song in her career, connecting with fans because of its cool sound and confident lyrics. It became one of the most streamed songs of all time. However, the remix with Justin Bieber which excited many at first, made fans and critics feel the original vibe was lost. Billy was a huge believer when she was younger, so having him on this song was special. He added new verses and sang along with Billy, trying to bring his own style to it. But many felt that his part was unnecessary and didn't improve the song, which was already strong on its own. It even disrupted the song's smooth feel, with Justin talking about his ice. E.T. by Katy Perry featuring Kanye West Katy Perry's E.T. from her 2010 album Teenage Dream is a track that stands out for its futuristic production, ethereal lyrics, and captivating vocal performance. The original, without any features, is a powerful pop anthem with a futuristic vibe. When the decision was made to release it as a single, Katy and her team opted to add a feature from Kanye West one of the biggest names in hip-hop. Kanye's verses were a mismatch as he delivers corny bar after corny bar. Worst line. You know a Kanye line when you hear one. Those lines are hilarious when they work, but absolutely atrocious when they don't connect. The remix also involves some production tweaks to accommodate Kanye's verses. These changes, although subtle, alter the overall sound and feel of the track. Even though the feature ruins the song, when it was released as a single, it quickly climbed up the charts, reaching number one on the Billboard Hot 100. Crazy Kids by Kesha featuring Will I Am. Kesha's song Crazy Kids from her 2012 album Warrior is a perfect party anthem. It features fun, rebellious lyrics and a catchy chorus that makes you want to dance. Her unique vocal style adds to the song's energy, making it one of the favorites from the album. However, when the remix with Will I Am was released, it changed the song's vibe. Many fans and critics felt that his part took away from what made the song great. Will I Am's verse interrupts the song's flow, making it feel uneven and disjointed. Instead of enhancing the track, his contribution seemed to lower its overall quality. It stands out for the wrong reasons and makes the song feel less polished. Worst Line The remix just didn't capture the same magic as the original. Instead of adding something new, it was just a distraction. Good For You by Selena Gomez featuring ASAP Rocky Selena's Good For You is a sultry, slow-burning pop and R&B track that highlights her vocal maturity. It was the lead single from her 2015 album Revival, an underrated album by the way. It marked a maturation in her sound and image, showcasing a more sensual and confident persona. The song features a minimalistic production with a sexy vibe. The verses sung by Selena are intimate and introspective, exploring themes of vulnerability and the need for validation in a relationship. Lines like, I just want to look good for you, capture the essence of longing and desire to impress. However, the feature by ASAP Rocky kills the vibe. His verse interrupts the smooth, seductive flow of the song, making it feel like two disjointed pieces rather than a cohesive song. The solo version is way better. Worst Line Jackpot, hit the jackpot. 
I heard you're married by the weekend feast with Lil Wayne. I heard you're married begins with the weekend signature smooth vocals and atmospheric production. The song delves into the emotional turmoil of discovering an old lover has moved on, a theme that fits well with the weekend's repertoire of heartbreak and longing. The production has synth heavy 80s inspired beats and creates a nostalgic yet contemporary soundscape that complements the weekend's introspective lyrics and haunting delivery. It is a standout track with a sleek production and the weekend's signature falsetto. Lil Wayne, a legendary figure in hip hop, is known for his distinctive voice and clever wordplay. His involvement on a track typically brings a level of excitement and anticipation. However, his feature on the song has been met with criticism for feeling out of place. His verse, while not that bad on its own, disrupts the song's continuity and takes away from the emotional impact of the original. Like fuck that, what a love at? Tell her be at kill him, no hubcap. Planes by Jeremiah featuring J. Cole. Jeremiah is known for his smooth vocals a knack for creating sensual R&B hits. While J. Cole is celebrated for his introspective lyrics and skillful flow, when these two artists came together for the track Planes, it was sure to be magic. Released in 2015, the song was meant to be a sultry, seductive anthem that blended Jeremiah's silky singing with J. Cole's lyricism, but J. Cole's verse was a disappointment. It didn't mesh well with the sensual vibe of the song, leading to some of the worst lines of his career. Let's go put it in your mouth. He doesn't really do well on sex songs. I mean, have you heard Grippy? It's, mm, grippy. Despite criticism, Planes performed well commercially. The track peaked at number 42 on the Billboard Hot 100 and received significant radio play. Cole still performs it at his concerts. SNM Remix by Rihanna featuring Britney Spears. SNM a standout track from Rihanna's fifth studio album, Loud, released in 2010, quickly became a pop anthem. The song with its provocative lyrics and infectious beat perfectly encapsulated Rihanna's bold and edgy persona. However, the release of the remix featuring Britney Spears in 2011 as the single version brought mixed reactions from fans and critics. While the collab between two of pop's biggest icons seemed promising on paper. The execution left much to be desired. Britney is an iconic artist with a distinctive voice and style, but her performance on SNM did not complement Rihanna's original vocals. Britney's voice, often processed and auto-tuned, contrasted sharply with Rihanna's more raw and powerful delivery. This created a jarring listening experience, disrupting the song's overall cohesion. The solo version is far superior. I'm sure I missed a lot of songs ruined by features. Tell me in the comments below.